positional group competition has clearly been the main talking point in the Eagles community as we await for training camp to arrive come July 26th. And it's pretty clear why, you know, when it comes to popular, you know, the popular topics of discussion, whether it be wide receiver or watching Jalen Hurts develop in going into his third year in the league as a second year starter, cornerback, defensive line, linebacker. There's a lot to look forward to, but I wanted to center in <laughs> on another position that really has gone somewhat to the wayside. And I and I think in means of, well, maybe there's a little intimidation there as to who we ultimately feel is going to be capable of carrying the torch when our Lord and center, Jason Kelsey, hangs up the cleats. What is up, Bird Brothers and Sisters? Lindy Unzone is in for the touchdown, taking the lead for the Philadelphia Eagles. One video at a time. And yes, also be sure to also uh, also be sure to go see um, the LinkedIn podcast uh, hosted by. Uh, Philly Jim, and yours truly as the co-host. As we are going into episode six this week, um, a lot to look forward to in that one. And, um, you know, being a part of the Sideline Sports Network and developing, uh, you know, in developing in co-collaboration with this uh, podcast. And, uh, you know, it has been a fun time lately. Uh, but that doesn't complete, that doesn't completely pull me away from, you know, the content that I provide to you guys. And so, well, love to have you a part of the end zone fam subscription is the easiest way to do so likes notifications, you know, whole nine yards as we are approaching 300 subscribers. And <laughs> I say we like I'm talking and <laughs> like I'm talking in a different uh, mode of person here. It's more so it's more so I, but you guys get the picture. So, um, other than that, let's get into uh, let's get into this discussion a little bit because, well, you know, like I said in the beginning of the video, you know, wide receiver, cornerback, linebacker, defensive line, almost all across the board, there are plenty of popular discussions to have when it comes to how the Eagles are are or could potentially look in 2022. There's a lot of excitement to go around, and whether it's their frequent the Requin. The recent acquisition of AJ Brown or Hassan Reddick, you know, whether it be via trade or through free agency, the draft has plenty to look forward to as well. And it's easy to see with Jordan Davis, Nicobe Dean, Kyron Johnson as a late round prospect that is showing some pretty decent promise so far as being a part of, you know, Rookie minicamp and OTAs that have recently concluded. Grant Calcaterra in that mix as well. But, you know, center is kind of going to the wayside to me a little bit. And I think it's in regards to, well, the depth there isn't, there isn't much to talk about in terms of depth. Um, you know, as bringing in Cam Jurgens, handpicked by Jason Kelsey in collaboration with the scouting department and uh, Jason wanting Cam to be the selection and feeling that he was the guy uh, most capable of taking Kelsey's place by way of by way of athleticism, by way of style and well, by way of maybe intangibles. Um, and so, you know. And I look across, and I look across the, um, you know, the positional group of the offensive line as a whole. And I go across the trenches, and I see, okay, well, who else really has versatility in terms of being able to play center? 
Isaac Sayamalu has it a little bit. And, you know, at the collegiate level, he primarily played the center position. He had some snaps at left. He had some snaps at right tackle. He had some snaps at, uh, he had some snaps at right guard. I believe he played on the left side a little bit. Landon Dickerson that we have very well know to this point has positional versatility. But with the success that he has been having at the left guard position next to Jordan Mailata, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? But who's to who's to say that the situation going forward is going to look any different? Um, you know, I certainly I certainly do believe that Cam Jurgens has what it takes. Otherwise, you know, <laughs> otherwise he wouldn't have. You know, there wouldn't have been as much influence in Kelsey uh, wanting to handpick him. And going back to um, going back to uh, some of the research that I have done um, with what Cam Jurgens was able to do at the collegiate level. And as we know, he is a uh, converted tight end to an offensive lineman at the center position. He was third. Um, he was third all Big Ten in 2021. Uh, plenty of other nominations for other awards. Um, you know, but other than that, I mean, I don't know. That's that's kind of the question that I'm asking myself, and um, it's something that I think we need to continue, you know, talking about um, how this center position is going to ultimately look, not just in present time, but you know, but the future time, and a lot of that's going to be predicated on the development of Cam Jurgens, who they end up putting behind him, um, you know. Guys like Nate Herbig aren't here anymore. Suo Peta got moved to a guard position. Uh, Jack Anderson isn't, you know, Jack Anderson may not be built to play center. Coyote Uwosika. There's a lot of name. There's a lot of names in there that while they have positional versatility, center position, not so much. And um, I also wanted to, you know, I also wanted to say that, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of the criteria that takes place in, you know, in building yourself as a in building yourself as a center the way Jason Kelsey has been able to for you know over a decade now is we have to we have to observe how cam uh, comes about in terms of him being synchronized with the rest of the offensive line communication as a whole going dating back to his time at Nebraska which I think, part of the selection of him. There is a little bit of influence there and in that, you know, the Eagles have had some success uh, with Jack Stoll, you know, an undrafted rookie from Nebraska at the tight end position. You know, they're, you know, it's looking pretty good for Jack. So they went back into the, the Nebraskan pool to, you know, to uh, um, snatch up Cam Jurgens in the second round. Um, so across from synchronizing himself with the rest of the offensive line, communication, communication with his quarterback, being in the right place at the right time, knowing, you know, know what the play is that is being called, uh, you know, in terms of communication that way, um, you know, dating back to the collegiate level, he used to have some issues around 2019 or so with even snapping the ball. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to I just wanted to create a topic of discussion on well probably the most important position on the offensive line that makes everything tick. And um, you know, if if we get into a mindset on um how easy or difficult the transition is going to be from Jason Kelsey to whoever ultimately takes his place. Um, right now, looking it's looking like Cam Jurgens. Um, other than that, <laughs> we gotta we gotta make sure that we are set up for the long haul. And so, well, whether it's whether it's Landon that he has to make a move to center if Cam doesn't pan out. Um, us knowing that Cam Jurgens is also cross training at a guard spot. Could it be Isaac Sayamalu if they hold on to him? That well, part of part of his scouting report that he primarily playing the center position in college, and you know it was going to end up being him prior to Jason Kelsey. That's all you're really working with right now. So in totality, yeah, 
Uh, San, uh, the center position, I also think, is a uh, marginally huge topic of discussion in terms of these positional in terms of positional group competition, not to, you know, not to say that there's a whole lot of competition at center right now. uh, But I think it's more so of the, uh, the quality of the result that um, we can expect to see from a long-term standpoint and hoping that we can have a seamless transition from Jason Kelsey to maybe Cam Jerkins, or like I said, worst case scenario, whoever else it may be. And well, those are those are a little bit of a, a collective of my thoughts. So let me know your thoughts specifically down in the comments on how you feel about the center position right now, the uh, continued development and the growth of Cam Jurgens under Jason Kelsey, uh, your confidence level in how um, you know in how smooth of a transition this could end up being. Uh, well, all, all we can obviously say at this point is yeah, thank you to, you know, thank you to Jason Kelsey for being as good as he is and, uh, you know, setting up whoever, uh, you know, setting up behind him. Um, you know, the next guy that can hopefully carry the torch of the legacy that Jason Kelsey is going to leave behind as the center of the Philadelphia Eagles. So with that, I'm going to head out of here. Thank you all for sticking to the end of the video. And be sure, like I said, to check out the LinkedIn podcast over on Philly Jim's channel or that it also streams on Sideline Sports Network. With that said, take care, everybody. Fly goes fly, bleed green. You already know the deal. Lindy will score again next time. I will see you soon.